It does. It's half a heart. There's the whole heart. There's something funny about this particular heart. Guess what I put on there? <laughs> You're looking at you, kid. That's kind of funny looking, isn't it? Do you ever think about your heart having eyes? Does your heart have eyes? Are you sure? Today we're reading a scripture from the book of Ephesians. It's a letter from Paul to the people in the church. Um, and part of his prayer for people is that the eyes of their hearts will be open. Is that a silly thing to pray? Well, when Paul was talking about the heart, he was talking about the part of us where we believe that God lives inside of us. And the part that prompts us to notice things according to how God wants us to see. So when Paul says, open the eyes of my heart, he means if you see somebody in trouble, or if you see somebody who needs something, or if you see somebody who could really use a hand, what should you do? Ignore them? Is that what Jesus would do? No, what would Jesus do? He would help them. So when Paul says, open the eyes of your heart, he prays for people that your eyes of your heart would be open. It means allow Jesus to live inside of you so much that when you see things, you see like Jesus wants you to see. We notice things differently when we see like Jesus wants us to see, don't we? So I want you to remember always that Jesus lives inside of you and he wants you to notice things. He wants you to see as though you're seeing with him. His eyes. Your eyes are beautiful, but your eyes are especially beautiful when you let Jesus look through them with you. Can you do that? I bet you can. Let's say our prayers. You help me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for Jesus who lives in our hearts. Help us to see as though Christ were seeing through us. Help us to notice other people and situations just like you would see them.